welcome back to the Mount Man Medical YouTube channel. Thanks for hanging out. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the soft tea wide being used on a four-year-old in Times Square after a shooting. Bad day, but the little girl's okay. Hang out, we're gonna talk about that next. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this video, see what we got. I was just looking at her and just saying like, if this was my kid, I would be running her myself to the hospital or the ambulance. So that's exactly what NYPD officer Alyssa Vogel did just moments after a four-year-old girl was one of three innocent bystanders shot in Times Square. So I just picked her up and just looking for the ambulance because my partner had said that there was one down the block. So I just picked her up and ran. Vogel, who works in the Midtown North Precinct, was nearby when the shots rang out Saturday around 5 p.m., hitting the youngster who was going to a toy store with her mom, dad, and aunt. Another officer already on the scene called out to Vogel that he needed a tourniquet to stop the bleeding. I had one on my gun belt and I pulled it out and I had started putting it on her and tightening it. Obviously, she's a child, so we didn't even know if it was gonna be tight enough to work. It did, and Officer Vogel says while the girl's parents were in shock, she didn't make a sound. It was amazing. I cannot believe that a little girl of her age had just been shot. It was so calm. To me and every other cop on scene, we were just doing our job, but I, I know that any police officer that would be in my position would have done the exact same thing. Right after when everything calmed down, I made sure to call my mom and look at my son again just to you know, make sure everything was okay. One of the three people struck by bullets is a four-year-old girl. We have new body camera video of the heroic officer who jumped into action and rushed her to safety. Now, the man police are looking for is 31-year-old Farrakhan Muhammad. Senior NYPD officials say he was actually trying to kill his own brother. Watch as Officer Vogel finds the child bleeding. She fastens a tourniquet around the child's left leg. Took the tourniquet off my gun belt and started applying it to her leg. That's when Officer Farter and I put it on her and then checked her to see if she had any more gunshot wounds. Officer Vogel scoops up the little girl, running again to a waiting ambulance. Officer Vogel praising the child today. For a little girl that was just shot, uh, she was so calm. And I think her being so calm is why officers were able to get her the help that she needed as quickly as possible. The girl was one of three people shot. Police sources say Farrakh Khan Muhammad pulled the trigger but missed the intended target, his own brother, a humble Officer Vogel saying she is not a hero. Every officer that responded to that job did a phenomenal job. It wasn't just me, it was everyone that responded. And I think any cop that was in the situation that I was in would have done the exact same thing. And as it turns out, Officer Vogel is a new mom with a six month old at home who tells us her police training and maternal instincts kicked in. Being a new mom, I was just treating this little child as if she was my own and really just trying to get her to the hospital as quickly as possible. So that's pretty interesting. I thought that was an awesome uh, description of trauma medicine from cops. I know uh, I just released a video a little while ago about some officers who did a less than stellar job of taking care of somebody that they had just shot. And in this one, we can kind of see that um, it seems like Officer Vogel is better trained than those officers were from Chicago. Now she says she was worried that the tourniquet might not fit on the tiny little limb of a four-year-old, which is an, a pretty reasonable suspicion. Uh, and a lot of people also think that as well. Uh, recent um, studies have come out that showed that the cat tourniquet uh, works pretty well on small limbs as well. There's quite a while there that people thought that uh, the adult sized tourniquets wouldn't work on smaller patients with much smaller limbs. Um, but we're seeing evidence that that might not absolutely be the case. One thing that you need to remember is that it's generally much easier to control bleeding on a child than it is on an adult because they have such small limbs, they don't have a whole lot of blood pressure, and their arteries are closer to the surface than it would be for an adult. So they're easier to occlude. So on a patient that is small, like a four-year-old might be, you can get pretty good occlusion of an artery with just direct pressure. So if you don't have a tourniquet on you and you're taking care of a very small child with bleeding, don't be too worried, just apply direct pressure and that should be, it almost definitely will be enough to control that bleeding. And I've got pretty good size hands and if it were me, it would be not that big of a deal to just tourniquet 
squeeze down on that limb and tourniquet that entire limb for you know a short period of time until someone could bring a tourniquet or EMS could arrive. So that might be an option for you if you're stuck without a tourniquet. Now, the other thing I want to kind of point out about this video is that they checked the child over for multiple gunshot wounds. They didn't just focus on that one bleeder that they saw. They made sure to check the child all over to make sure that she hadn't been hit anywhere else. And that's a great trauma medicine. You want to make sure that you're doing that, especially, you know, when you've got multiple bullets flying around, you don't know how many times that little girl has been hit. You might be working on the leg and not notice the bleed up towards you know, her neck or her head or wherever else it might be. So making sure that you're checking your casualties over all over their body to make sure you haven't missed any dangerous bleeding is pretty essential. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Thanks for hanging out and checking out this video. I thought this was a pretty cool one. Uh, congratulations to uh, Miss Vogel there for uh, taking good care of that little girl. She is recovering and uh, all of the people that were shot in this particular scenario are recovering. They captured Mr. Farquan uh, Muhammad, and his brother was actually just arrested a little while ago, too. His brother ratted him out, totally dropped the dime on his brother for trying to kill him. Thanks for hanging out and checking out this video. I appreciate all of you. Don't forget to hit a like and subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Helps me to keep these videos coming out to you. If you have any other comments or anything that you'd like to say about this video, make sure you drop it into the comments down below, and I will I always read the comments. Always like to hear what you guys are saying and what you're thinking, answer any questions that I have. But a lot of times those questions get answered before I even get to them because we got a lot of stellar individuals in our comment section, people with a lot of experience that are helping to uh, answer these questions and bring up a lot of good topics. So head on down there, give it a check, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.